one of the most common and appreciated comments we get on this channel is about the quality of the videos. And today I want to share with you the way I film my videos so you can do it too. Many of you always ask for advice about how to make your videos and recommendations about gear. So today I'm going to teach you a little bit of how we make it happen while I cook a really simple choripan recipe. Choripan is a mix of two words, chorizo or sausage in English and pan, that means bread in Spanish. In reality you can call it a sausage sandwich and it will be exactly the same thing. This is one of the most asked for dishes every time we have a family gather, and the kids love it. Not just because it's delicious, but it's also easy to handle. But now let's talk about how I make my videos. To film any video, no matter what you use it for, you will need good lighting. I mainly use these two lights that you can see here. They are affordable and easy to rig, and the light is nice and controllable. These two are the best lights I was able to find online, and the cheapest too. The second thing that you need for your videos will be good audio. Audio is as important for a video as the video itself, but contrary to the camera, any good microphone can do the job. And talking about cameras, let me introduce you to my cameras. But before doing that, let me let you know that this video is sponsored by Panasonic, which means this is not a camera review. This is my overview and impressions about my own cameras. And if you want to know more about it, just let me know in the comments and we'll make another video for it. The Lumix GH5 camera is the camera responsible for all those amazing shots you love in my videos. Since 2017, this camera is capable of many of the things that 2021 cameras are bragging about. This baby is capable of shooting slow motion videos in 4K. It has the best color science in it and is very affordable if you compare it with the new cameras that can do similar things. Most of the cameras at this price range can only record at 8 bits, which means they only have 256 levels per channel. This baby here can record at 10 bits, which means it has 1024 levels per channel. To make it easier to understand, your shadows in 10 bits are going to be smoother and your colors more vivid and impacting. And the app, the app is amazing. You can record and manage everything from the app with almost no lag or any latency at all. From the app, you can change and adjust it all. See and adjust your focus, ISO, aperture, and so on. And you can even start and stop recording from here. I love this app. In reality, I love this camera. And I can sit in here and talk about it for months. But we still have that shorty pan recipe to finish. And I know this topic is a little bit out of the specs of this channel. But if you want to learn more about gear, cameras, lights, or anything else, just let me know in the comments down there because I would love to make a video about that only for you. Now back to the recipe. The main thing that really matters in the way the choripan is created is what you add to the bread and sausage. In this case, I will make this amazing sauce that once you try it, you will never forget. And for the sauce, all you will need is two tomatoes, one purple onion, two garlic cloves, one jalapeno, a handful of cilantro, one lime, olive oil, salt, and pepper. The whole recipe is going to be down there in the description. I will remove the seeds of the tomatoes and cut it into very small pieces. I will cut the onions into chunks and add the jalapeno cut into small pieces too. Mix the two garlic cloves a bit and cut the cilantro. Add it all to the bowl and there is where you're going to add your salt and pepper. And to finish it all, we will add the olive oil and the lime juice. After that, all you have to do is mix it well. And while you are looking at those amazing colors in those sausages, I will ask you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't and to hit that like button like you mean it. The sausages are getting ready and it is time to add butter to the bread and toast it a little bit as well. I also like to add butter to the outside of the bread just to get those amazing flavors on it. And now that we have it all ready, it is time to assemble the shorty pan. Well, 
guys, we have the whole choripan already done and everything is looking beautiful. What do you think, Miss Ninja? I'm so hungry. This Ninja. is one of Miss Ninja's favorite. It's, it's, it's always good. Yes. It's amazing. It tastes really good. And that toasty bread <laughs> right on top, man, that thing is awesome. That's but why it it's called. Some, some extra stuff in there yeah, that I yeah, can see yeah, from yeah. here. Yeah, do you guys know there. this? But we're going to give it a try anyway. Let's, let's go and give it a try. But this video is more about what I used to film and oh. what I used to make my videos with so they can know more or less and get an idea of what we use here. And, uh, you know, I'm proud to share all the information that I have with you guys. And again, if you have any question about these things that I use or if you have any recommendation, whatever, just put it down in the comments and we'll go from there. So let's give it a try real quick, Miss Ninja, go, because it's go, not really about this. So we all hungry. know this is amazing. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. Is this a Mexican choripan or something like that? I love my chorizo. Mm. I love the chorizo. <laughs> Let's go, Miss Ninja. Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. When it's real messy, it's really good. It's messy, but it's <laughs> awesome. So there you have it, guys. The choripan is amazing. Everything is looking good in here. The sauce is what really makes oh, a yeah. difference. And it's great. So let me ask you, if we made you hungry, you had to hit us with a like. Lots and lots of likes. Subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to share these videos on social network because that helps us a lot. I know you're going to have some comments, some things to say about the camera and the gear that I use. Mm. Just put everything down there. That's, that's what it is for. I'm always interacting with you guys. I love to answer the comments and the questions that you guys have. Yes, we do. Put everything down there. Okay. And that's all for today. But remember that... I love you. Mm -hmm. I love you too. Thanks for watching and see you on the next, next one. one.